Whoops. Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another high-grade Iron-Blooded Orphans review, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Gundam Kimaris Trooper. First off, they're the sides of the box. As you can see, this one does include a stand, and this is going to put you back about 1,400 yen. Straight away, I can tell you that there's not many Gundams that the minute I finish them, all I think is I need to panline this shit now. But this is one of them. This has to be the most outwardly detailed Iron-Blooded Orphans high grade so far. Just look at that. That is glorious. And in case you're curious, this is straight built with no paint, and I just lined it with these Gundam markers here. I used grey on the light sections and black on the darker sections and that was it. And as you can see, it does not take much to make this thing look incredible. Needless to say, this thing is shot right into my top three Iron-Blooded Orphans high grades. This thing is awesome. So there is the Kimaris Trooper beside the standard Kimaris, and don't worry, I will get around to reviewing that one as well soon. And although they are both fantastic looking Gundams, you might think, well, one part of this one looks better than that one. But that is the beauty of this line, isn't it? All these parts are interchangeable, and because both of these Gundams are technically the same one and exactly the same color, you can swap their parts around. So if you're like, oh, I really don't like this big ass on the new Kimaris, then you can just like, pop off the legs torso and then the ass part and then grab the other Kimaris, pull off its legs, torso and its Gundam ass and then just stick them on to the trooper. So there we are, ass transplant complete. As you can see this is the standard Kimaris' waist unit here and vice versa. Of course as you can see I've panel lined the parts of the trooper but not of the regular Kimaris. So if you've never panel lined a kit and wanted to know what the difference is, there's an example right there. And if this Kimaris didn't look Kubele enough already, then right now it's nearly 100% there. Change the head and you've got yourself an Iron-Blooded Orphans Kubele. So again pretty much everything is swappable, you can just swap out the arms as simply as that. And there is what they look like swapped, so essentially if you've both of these kit, you can make your own perfect Kimaris. That is a pretty cool feature. These are both different enough to warrant a purchase of both, in my opinion, but still similar enough that you can swap everything around and it still looks perfect. As for color separation, this thing looks fantastic straight built. It doesn't come with a whole lot of foil seals and none of which really give any issues. Most of which attach to recessed areas and don't really cause any trouble like the ones on the Barbatos. These ones which connect in here on the forearms are probably the worst offenders. Also they have used some white plastic in some of the armor parts like here on the head, here on the chest, as well as around here towards the back of the neck. So there's the Kimaris Trooper with everything that it comes with. And I have to say this is a pretty solid set of accessories. Solid blue that is. I mean seriously, that is a lot of solid blue. So what we've got is this huge chunk of a weapon called the Destroyer Lance, the Kimaris Shield, as well as the Kimaris Saber. And the Saber can also be stored in the shield by slotting it down in there. We also get one extra hand included in here with the thumb extended and this is for holding the destroyer lance. And last up in here and an awesome addition is an action base. As for the articulation it's pretty much as awesome as you've seen with most of the kits from this line so far. So for now I'm gonna focus on what's new here. The only thing that's a little bit limited is the leg up to the front but that's kind of the same with a lot of these kits. So what is new on here are these awesome side skirts. These open out like that and this little section down here has essentially the same type of hole as the hands. So that part there can essentially hold weapons like the shield here. Just slot that in and pop that up and there as you can see that can hold the shield. That is pretty cool. Same goes over here, you can pop this one out and you could stick the lance in there and that can hold that pretty well as you can see, that's pretty sturdy. Also this section back here has this moving part, however I'm not exactly sure as to the function. When it's standing up you can actually prop it up on this which is handy, even though it isn't really all that back heavy. And maybe it's meant to be like a tail when it's in trooper mode, maybe? So that is pretty much all that there is to this rear section. Now probably the coolest aspect of this kit is that the legs can transform. Usually when parts in a Gundam can transform they get a bit weak, they might be a little bit awkward when posing, like pop out and stuff, but this doesn't at all. You won't even notice when looking at this or playing about with this that this actually does transform slightly. So to do that first we'll straighten out the leg. This little section here points down like that. Move that leg back, this section pulls up like that, and then this section, this purple part, pulls out like that. And then we have another part up in there which we can pull out like that. This part bends down, flip it around to the other side and do exactly the same. And there we have that awesome almost four-legged centaur look. So that is it for the review. This is another awesome Iron-Blooded Orphans high grade. 
and definitely, like I mentioned already, in my top three. If you have the original Team Iris and you're on the fence of whether to get this one as well, I would say definitely go for it. The fact that you can mix up the parts and they look natural looks really cool and they're different enough to make this worth the purchase. It's got a pretty decent set of accessories and an action base is included as well. Surface detail wise, this is definitely the best kit of the line so far. Is it better than the original Kimaris? I would say both kits are probably on par, it will be down to your own unique taste there. But definitely a kit I would recommend. So as always, thank you very much for watching and make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews. See you next time. Yeah, you can use this thing too.